hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you are doing well so here i am with the most important multiple choice questions from the chapter introduction to trigonometry okay and uh, if you practice this you are definitely going to get at least two marks okay from your exam or uh, minimum of one mark got it one marks so if you are new to this channel kindly do subscribe it and after watching this video if you find it useful do like comment and share it with your friends okay i have already made a detailed video okay on this chapter if you have not seen it yet and uh, if you have time before the exam to watch and understand do watch it okay so it will be worthy investing your time here so let me start with the first question the value of cos 48 minus sin 42 degree is dash so whenever you get question on the basis of this ratios with some angles and if the angles are other than 0 30 45 60 90 and 90. these are specific angles okay then you have to have, then you have to use complementary rule okay what is that i will tell you cos 48 minus sin 42 okay what you can write you can keep either of cos or sin same let me keep this as same and sin what will be this 42 complementary means from 90 if you subtract what that you get 42 48 right if you subtract 48 from 90 only then you are going to get 42 right so i can write at the place of 42 as 90 minus 48 got it so this is cos 48 itself and sin of 90 minus 48 is cos 48 cos 48 minus cos 48 is 0 since both of them are same we'll get 0 option number a got it i hope you have understood this moving to the next question now the value of sin 30 plus cos 60 is dash so what is sin 30 it is 0 1 by 2 and this is uh, 0 1 by 2 1 by root 2 root root 3 by 2 right so on solving this you'll get 2 as lcm isn't it uh, sorry sorry this is cos 60 so cos 60 is yes again it is also 1 by 2 itself okay 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is 1 half plus half is 1 option number d is the right answer next is if 13 sin theta is 12 then the value of cosec is dash so they have given see 13 sin theta as 12 so what will be sin theta it will be 12 by 13 right if i bring this to lhs now what is cosec theta it is reciprocal of sin correct so the answer will be 13 by 12 just reverse it so option number 13 by 12 where is that 13 by 12 yes option number d that is the right choice next is the value of sec square 26 minus tan square 26 degree see again if you look at this 26 26 both of them are same okay and you have a square on both of them so you can write this as theta correct since both of them are same you can write it as theta now using that identity what is that sec square theta the identity is let me write it here 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta now sec square theta bring this to rhs minus tan square theta what will be in the lhs 1 so that's what they have given at the place of theta they have just written it as 26 okay but the value remains same 1 option number d got it next question in the figure the value of sin theta is dash so remember this sin theta is always opposite side by hypotenuse side okay so this is theta okay opposite is this side ab and uh, this is 90 so opposite of 90 is hypotenuse and the left one is adjacent now here they have asked o by h what is o 1 what is h 2 so the answer is 1 by 2 option number a got it i hope you are getting them all if you just do press the like button if you have not done it yet next question the value of sin 30 plus cos 60 minus tan 45 is dash so sin 30 is 1 by 2 again 
cos 60 is 1 by 2 and tan 45 is 1. So half plus half is 1, correct? Minus 1 is how much? 0. Option number D, that's all. Next is 3 plus sec square theta is equal to dash. So how are you going to write this? See, if you see, they have given incomplete equation. What is that equation? 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta. Right? Now they have just given sec square theta. So at the place of sec square theta, you can substitute this equation. So 3 plus 1 plus tan square theta. What is 3 plus 1? 4. And this is plus tan square theta. So option number A is the correct one. Okay, 4 plus tan square theta. Next is question number this. The value of sine theta into cosec theta is dash. So as you all know, sine theta and cosec are reciprocal of each other. So cosec we can write it as sine theta, right? So sine by sine got cancelled. Sine and sine will get the answer as 1. Option number B. Next, sine 65 is equal to what? So again, they have given a complementary one. So we can write sine 65 as 90 minus 25 correct this will be how much 65 now what is sine of 90 it is cos of that theta what is the theta 25 so answer is c okay moving to the next question if tan theta is root 3 then the value of sec theta is what okay so if you draw this figure okay uh, let me just tell tan theta is root 3 when is root 3, uh, when is the value of tan theta is root 3? At what value of theta? So this is for tan 60, correct? Tan 60 is root 3. We all know that. You should know. 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90 values of all the ratios. Uh, mainly sin, cos and tan. So tan 60 is 30. Now from this we got theta. What is theta? 60. Now substitute here sec theta now again most of you might have not remembered this sec values so sec is reciprocal of cos what is cos 60 it is 1 by 2 right cos 60 is 1 by 2 and reciprocal of this is sec 60 which is 2 by 1 which is equal to 2 so option number a is the right choice got it next is in the given figure the value of sin theta and tan alpha so here is theta and here is alpha so if you take theta here this is opposite okay 90 this is hypotenuse and this side is adjacent so what is sine theta it is o by h so opposite is 3 by h is 5 so 3 by 5 now come to tan alpha let me erase this now since angle is here so opposite of that angle is opposite side Again, 90 opposite is hypotenuse and this is adjacent. Now, what is tan alpha? It is O by A. So, O is now 4, correct? And A is 3. Just multiply them, these two, sin theta and tan alpha. So, 3 by 5 into 4 by 3. Okay? So, 3, 3 gets cancelled. You will get 4 by 5 is as the answer. Okay? I hope it's clear. Next is this question. If cos 9 theta is equal to sin theta, okay, where 9 theta is less than 90, then the value of tan 5 theta is dash. Okay, so let me write this question first. See, they have given cos of 9 theta is equal to sin theta. Okay, so at what value of theta both sin and cos are equal? Okay, so it is equal only when theta is equal to 45 degree, correct? Now, okay, so, uh, but uh, if you take 45, here you can write 45, but what about this 9 theta? No, you can't do this method, right? So, uh, we will change one thing. What we will do? See, uh, what can I write here to make this cos as sine? To make this sine... Uh, can I write this as cos of, uh, sorry, to make this sine, uh, I will write this as, if I write this as sine of 
90 minus 9 theta. Will this not be equal to cos 9 theta? Right? So I can interchange this, correct? Cos of 90 minus theta, I can write it as sine of 90 minus 9 theta. And here I will keep it as this. Okay. Now in the both side we have sine. So they will get cancelled. And here we will get 90, 90 minus 9 theta, which is equal to theta. Now bring this 90. 9 theta to RHS. So it's become 9 theta plus theta which is equal to 10 theta. Okay. Now theta will be 90 by 10. Correct. So that is equal to how much? 9. So theta is 9 degree. Now you need to find tan 45. Uh, sorry tan 5 theta. So tan 5 into theta is 9. It means tan 45. What is the value of tan 45? It is 1. So option number B is the correct choice. Okay, so try to do in this method or also you could have done this using this C. You can keep this 9 theta as it is, but sine, can we write this as cos of 90 minus theta, right? Here cos will get cancelled, again theta will come to RHS, you will get same theta as 9 itself. Okay, so I hope you have understood this. It's very important question. Try to practice and learn it. Next, moving to this question, which of the following is not a correct relation? Okay, so not a correct relation. We'll check first which is the correct relation. So 1 plus tan square, yes, this is correct. So now, yeah, this is not correct. 1 plus cot is cosec, this is correct. Sin is one. this is also correct. And they have asked not a correct. So option number D is the right choice. Okay, next is if sin theta is 1 by 2, what is the value of theta? Theta will be 0, 1 by 2, it is for 30 degree, correct? For sine 30, the value is 1 by 2. Option number A. Next is, if sine theta is 7 by 3, then the value of cosec is 1. It is just reciprocal of sine, which is 3 by 7. So, option number A. Next, the value of sine 90 minus theta is what? So, it is just cos theta, option number A. If 2 cos theta is equal to 1, okay. And theta is an acute angle, then the value of theta is what? So 2 cos theta is equal to 1. What will be cos theta? 1 by 2. Correct? So for what value of theta? Cos is 1 by 2. It is for cos 60. Correct? Because sin 30 is 1 by 2. So ulta 90 minus 30 is 60. I hope you know this. So the answer for theta is 60 degree. Last question. I hope so. Yes, it is. 1 by cosec A is equal to cosec is reciprocal of sin option number C. So I hope you have understood all the questions explained here. Okay. If you, yes, kindly do press the like button and share it with your friends. We'll see you all in my next video. Thank you for watching. Till then, take care. Bye. Have a great time and all the best for your final exam.